Today we're going to look at how to use strip diagrams and equations to solve multi-step word problems. So let's look at this one. It says Eva has $15. I always jot down the information as I go. I like to call this pulling the math out. Otherwise, it's just a reading problem. So we like to pull out the math so we can look at just that. Lana has $10 less than Eva. So Lana has 15 minus 10. They want to know how much money they have together. Which set of equations correctly shows how to solve this problem? So what is our overall question? What is it asking? How much money they have together? So whenever I get ready to, to set up a strip diagram in order to organize my thinking, I have to ask myself, do I know the total? How much money they have all together? That's the total. I don't know that, that's what I'm looking for. So when I set up my strip diagram, I make sure I leave the total blank. I'm gonna fill in X for the total. That's what they use in the answer choices. Then we have, let's see, Eva, it's 15. And you can always write their names under it to keep track. And Lana is 15 minus 10. Let's solve that. What is 15 minus 10? Five. So how do I find X? 15 for Eva plus five for Lana. So what is the value of X, which is their total together? X would be 15 for Eva plus $5 for Lana. So what is the value of X? $20. Now let's see which equation matches what we did. So step one, we had to do 15 minus 10 in order to find what Lana had. Is that what this shows? It says 15 minus something equals 10, and that something is five. Well, I mean, well, Lana does have $5, but that's not quite how we got it. Okay, step two, X, which is your total minus 10. Well, we didn't start with the total. H, step one, 15 minus 10 to find what Lana had. That's good, that's what we did first. And the amount that Lana had was $5. Then step two, we put Eva's 15 plus Lana's five and got 20. So it looks like this might be the best choice. Let's check J. For step one, it said 10 plus 15. Well, we didn't add those. So our best choice is H. So by using the strip diagram, and jotting down the information as we read, turning the words into just quick math sentences, we were able to match our process with the answer choice processes. All right, let's look at another example. This time they give us the strip diagrams to choose from. And so we'll be coming up with the equations together. So it says three friends went swimming together. Corey swam six laps in the pool. So I'm going to write that. Corey, six. Aubrey swam five more laps than Corey. So Aubrey was Corey six plus five more. Eli swam two less than Aubrey. So for Eli, we're starting with Aubrey's, which was six plus five. And then it said two less than that. Remember in math, when you use parentheses, it means first step. So for Eli, it says two less than Aubrey. Aubrey's information was six plus five more. So we put that in parentheses. 
and then Eli was two less than that, so we subtract two. We're not actually solving this problem. We're looking for the strip diagram that matches how to solve the problem. And it says that the variable we're going to use is n for Eli. So we'll just put that there so we don't forget. So we're looking for the one that shows six plus five first, minus two will give us n. This shows five plus two first, that doesn't match. This shows six plus two, we're looking for six plus five first. This shows six plus five first, that's good. It shows two less than that. So this would be matching, right? Six plus five equals whatever this is. We back it up by two and we're left with N for Eli. So far that matches. Let's check this one. This one does six plus five plus two more equals what Eli has. So our best choice is H because it shows six plus five as the total. Then we back up by two or subtract two and we are left with N, which is the number of laps that Eli swam. Okay, we're going to do the guided practice together and you're asking your teacher for help if you need anything, if you have any questions. Just think it through, write down the math. Remember to always take the math out of the reading first and it'll help you organize your information.